Hey everybody, Jerry from Bullshit Corner. Today's video, we are setting up the differential, getting ready to install. And the first thing we gotta do is get the gear on. This is an aux locker for Dana 30. And as you can see right now, the gear tolerance is a little on the tight side. I imagine you could just beat it over, but that wouldn't be that good. Now, in the manual, there's another option where you can loosen up all these top bolts, remove the top cap, and that and slide the gear on. However, I'm going to stick this in the oven, heat it up to 200 degrees, and see if I can get the tolerances opened up enough that we can pop it into place. I am just looking at the aux locker right now and just going to heat up the little oven over there and going to heat this gear up and hopefully slide it over top. It's like there's a bomb that's going to go off or something. Heating up that gear. The heat will make the metal expand and hopefully it'll be enough clearance to put it over top of the aux locker. I just threw a couple bolts in there right now just kind of hold it in place till the ring gear cools off and then we'll lock her down and torque it to the proper specs. The next step is to use the red Loctite that came in the master install kit and we're going to red Loctite all these down and torque them down to 80 foot pounds of torque because that's what the factory service manual says so let's set that up now. Now when you torque this down, it's best to kind of go like here, 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 like a cross pattern all over the place instead of going around the circle. Alright, I'm going to end my video on installing the ring gear on the differential. The next part of the video that's going to be released later on is going to be the final setup of the differential, finding your shims, getting your bearing preload and all that stuff. But it's too much to cover in one video, that's why it's broken up into a whole bunch of smaller ones. So if you have any other questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and subscribe to see the rest of this Jeep build.